Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. It is Karen here with you today. Today I'm going to share with you a page that I have made in my Dilutions journal and I have been inspired by Michelle Grant. Um, I've been watching her lives of a Saturday night and a couple of weeks ago she she made a canvas actually with um, some charcoal pencils which is what I'm using now. So all that I'm doing is just writing some random words. <laughs> well, they're not really random, but art makes me happy art every day onto my page in, in charcoal pencil. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing that, but I, <laughs> I have a little bit of trouble with my charcoal pencil because it keeps on breaking, but that's because it's so soft and I think I'm just pressing too hard. So it's not something that I've really used before is charcoal so yeah it's a little bit of a um uh yeah I'll get there I just I've never really used these pencils before so um and because I I tend to press quite hard they kept on snapping on me but anyway these things happen you live and learn so what I'm doing is I'm just adding some doodles onto my words um, just adding in some extra circles and shapes um, some squiggles and and that kind of thing so here I am trying to use the broken lead <laughs> so I didn't have to sharpen it again oh dear um, the pencil that I am using is a general's charcoal pencil they come in um, a couple of different um, uh, weights, I guess you'd say. So I'm using the soft. There's also a medium and a hard. So maybe I should have grabbed the hard one. <laughs> anyway, so here I am. My page is almost, um, well, it is full. So I am sprayed it with some um, workable fixative and I've let that dry so the aim is to try and stop the charcoal from spreading but as you can see when I add my layer of um, matte medium it did run a little bit which I kind of expected I mean the first time I tried this it was an absolute dog's breakfast it was hideous it worked it worked out okay in the end but the charcoal was an absolute mess so um, yeah I've been a little bit more successful this time so I'm using some of Seth Apter's um, ice so I've got the um, the palette knife and I'm just squeezing out a bit of the glaze onto um, my page so the aim is is to build up layers uh, of color over the top of the charcoal so that you can actually still see the charcoal underneath all the layers so that's the aim of the game today so hopefully it will work out in the end I didn't really have a plan as to how it was going to work out but I decided um, my ice my ices or ice whatever they you know from Seth weren't quite bright enough so what I've done is I've grabbed out some Adelia interactive acrylics and I've put some into my palette and I've also added in a little bit of um, Liquitex flow medium and the idea of this is to make my paints more translucent so I'm really thinning them down and um, by using the the flow medium it doesn't change the the color um, of the paint like it's not like water um, like it's still going to be um, the same pigments. It's not going to be stretched or watered down like you would if you used water, if you get what I mean. So by using the actual flow medium, you're still cont cont um, containing that paint. Um, and what am I trying to say? Paint consistency, but by thinning it down, it makes it more translucent. So yeah so that was what I was trying to do so if you want more information about this maybe you should go and watch Michelle Grant's live video which is on her channel on her page in Facebook so I'm just adding in some more color so as you can see those Adelia paints really brightened up my page a bit more so now I've got some gold I'm just mixing that in with the with the flow medium to make that one a little bit more translucent as well so as I've been putting on my um, 
my paint and my eye. So I've been dragging my palette knife through to make some scratches. So then when I add the next layer of paint or whatever over the top, it, um, it goes into the grooves and it just creates a bit more interest on, onto the page. So the image that I've got there is um, from Michelle's art packs. This pack is called Unity. I've actually printed mine out onto some rice paper. I think it's a rice paper pad, that one. I'm not sure. Um, so, yeah, all, all that I did was just um, stick it onto a piece of copy paper with some washi tape and then run it through my printer. And I have an in inkjet printer. So once it's come out, you need to um, spray the ink so that it doesn't actually run um, and again I use the workable fixative and as you can see like gluing it down none of the ink from the printer has run so yeah it works quite well it's a little bit fiddly <laughs> to get it printed onto rice paper or tissue paper or deli paper or whatever but yeah it's fun and you can still, by when I glue it down, like you can still see some of that background coming up through um, the rice paper. So now I've just got some modelling paste and a stencil there from Paper Rose. My modelling paste is from Stamperia. So I just added in some white patches because it was starting to look a little bit dark. So by adding in the white, um, that's brightened it up. But also when I add more colour over the top, um, you know, it's going to change the colour of the paint. Now, there you can see me adding in some scratches into the paint. So I'm just going to get this modelling paste dry so I can add some colour over the top. So, uh, there we go. It's dry now. <laughs> so as you can see, by adding more colour of the translucent paints over the top of where, you know, where you've got the pinks and blues and and whatever or whatever colours you happen to be using, you can see that it really intensifies um, those colours and makes them brighter as you build them up. And you can still see the charcoal underneath. Isn't it cool? It's so cool. I thought it was a great idea, so hence why I wanted to give it a, give it a try, but yeah, my first one didn't work out so well. <laughs> anyway, live and learn. So now I'm just adding in some blue. Um, actually, it's turquoise um, just over some of the, that white modelling paste. And I'm just blending it out a little bit with my baby wipe as well there as well. I'm going around my image. So she kind of blends into the black back there, background there. So it's starting to look a bit cool. Although I'm starting to decide, oh, what am I going to do next? You know, I really don't know what I want to do next. So I'm going to add in some more green. So I've got some ice again, just in a different colour. And I'm um, just going to smoosh that on and give it a bit of a dry. Um, yeah, so in between these layers of paint, you kind of have to let them dry so that the colours don't mix in together. So that's what I was doing there. So where I've got some scratches, I've just put some gold paint over the top of my scratches now. And um, you'll see better in the close-ups, but this, the gold paint has gone into the scratches and then I've wiped it off over the top of the surface. So it's just in the grooves. It looks cool. I was pretty happy with that idea. But I've seen Seth do that a few times actually. So by creating different layers and adding in scratches, you can um, change the colour and create more interest in your background. So that's really cool. So here I'm getting a little bit stuck now on what to do next. So I'm just going to dry this off and I've grabbed a couple of stamps. Um, the stamps or the little round stamp that I have is from Paparazzi. It's a Gwen... Gwen Lefer, I think her name is, one of out of her round circle stamp sets. And I've also got a little bit of text here. This is from another paparazzi set um, from Courtney. And I'm just stamping that beside my circle to give a little bit more interest. And now I'm grabbing Adina Squiggle to put that in there as well. Just to make, I don't know, make it look pretty, I suppose. Um, 
yeah, and this is kind of where I got stuck and not knowing what to do next. So I'm just going to dry this off because it does take a little bit to dry in the middle of winter, which, you know, doesn't help so much. So now I'm just brightening up some of those um, pinks again by adding in a little bit more over the top. Some more of that green gold, which is kind of a, a yellow, but it, it just seems to go so nice with the turquoise and magenta. It's becoming a little bit of my one of my favourites at the moment. I tend to be using it quite a bit. So yeah, you can just see me adding some more colour, swooshing around the edges so I haven't got that real harsh paint line, um, just blending it out, adding some more into those gold scratches. And um, yeah, and that's where I left it for that day. So here I am on the next day because, you know, I had to sleep on it to think about what I was going to do next. So I've grabbed a paper artsy um, stencil. It's just a, a little circle one. And I've decided to um, add in some white over the top to help break it up a bit because it was looking very dark and, yeah, it needed something um, just to brighten it up a little bit. And white always does that. So I've got my Prima Complexions watercolour set and um, I'm going to paint, add um, some paint to my girl so I can make her come to life a little bit. So just using some of the, the light, you know, skin colours for her skin, obviously, <laughs> and some of the darker browns for her hair so I can help build up some of the colour. So I've just added in a little bit of colour where I want it to be darkest and then I've blended it out a little bit with my with my paintbrush and I'm doing that a little bit around her face as well. So I'm just going to dry that off so I can add a bit around her face to darken up the shadows there. A little bit more now she's starting to look a little bit more lively so I've grabbed out my Intex Derwent pencils now um, I decided I'd use those to add in the colors of her eyes her cheeks and her lips and add some more details into her hair with some hair strands just using the the pencil um, the thing with intense ugh, intense pencils are once you've wet them and activated them and they dry, they're permanent. So that's cool. Hey, so if you haven't got any Derwent Intense pencils, maybe you should check them out. I got mine at Office Wax. So there you can see me just adding in a little bit more detail into her hair. And um, yeah, that's starting to really make her pop out and she's looking a, a little bit more lively in there. So I just grabbed a little bit of a black pencil so I can draw in the pupils, the little black pu pupils in her eyes. Um, I was going to use a Posca pen, but that's actually a little bit too flat. So I've just grabbed out my little uni ball to add in some um, some catch lights and put some highlights onto her face. Just giving her lips a little bit of colour. And now I've got my Posca and I've decided to go around all the little circles from my stencil and because my surface is quite rough um, my pen is catching so I'm getting lots of little splats of white paint going here there and everywhere so that actually looks quite cool so conti to continue on that splat that paint splatter um, I'm grabbing my fan brush and with the gesso that I've got I've just um, added in some more splats over the top so I think she looks really cool. So I'm pretty happy with how she's turned out actually. So um, now I'm just trying to decide what kind of quote thing I'm going to put on her. And I've been searching for the Unity um, words that I printed out from the art pack. And I finally found them. And um, these ones I printed onto tissue paper. So I've just cut that off. Um, as you can see, I've left it on my carrier. It was just stuck on there, so it was just easier to keep it nice and flat. So I'm just trimming up my words now, and I'm going to stick it down with a bit more gel medium. And that's pretty much it for my page. So here we have some close-ups. Um, 
where you can see the bits of gold in the groove and everything and I really like how it turned out actually in the end and I really like that you can still see the bit of charcoal underneath all those layers. So thank you so much for watching. Till next time, please like and subscribe. Bye!